We're always cringy, but we're doing Nikki Demar's place, guys, and she just happens to be obsessed with the 70s. The 70s. Hey guys, I'm Nikki from Nikki and Gabby. I have two YouTube channels, one with my twin sister Gabby, and then my own channel, Nikki Demar. I've been trying to work with Mr. Kate for a few years now. Um, she's done all my friends' places, but I feel like things happen for a reason because. The apartment I was living in before this, I didn't like, and this is my dream apartment. So if I'm gonna interior design any apartment, I'm glad it's this one. This is gonna be an insane episode. It's so fun. Such a specific aesthetic. Yes, and we've been wanting to work with Nikki for so long. She and I have been texting. Obviously, we've done a ton of her friends' places, other YouTubers, so this is just meant to be and I'm really excited about the 70s theme. She like she knows what she likes. I love when people know what they like and have a very specific aesthetic. Guys, if you're from Nikki's channel, welcome. We're the creative weirdos over here at Mr. Kate. Yeah. And uh, join the family, hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you. We're all about embracing your unique weirdness, which just makes you you, and being unapologetic and creative and just living the because why not lifestyle. And if you guys are already creative weirdos and you want to take the relationship to the next level, you can hit the join button and become a member. We have vlogs, live chats, everything. Also, huge thanks to Ring for sponsoring today's video. Obviously, Ring is a really cool company, so we're excited to show you some of their stuff in a little bit. We love Ring. We have Ring in our house. So, yeah. Ring a ding ding. Ring a ding ding. Let's get to the episode. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait. Small, I love this. Nate, what's up, man? How are you? <laughs> we yeah, are both small with colorful hair, hair, and you guys are both drummers. drummers. Yeah. So <laughs> weird. This was meant to be. There's a lot of synchronicity. It's so funny. We're like mirror images of each I other. Know. I guys, like we're excited about this project. So yes. this is your Let's living dining it. room. Yes. This is a big, it's big room. It is. It was a big white box. That's how I would explain it. Like. It, it is still. It can look, it is. <laughs> it's like, still. It can, we haven't done anything yet. <laughs> okay, so the challenge in this room is that it's big. It's one of those modern apartments with an open floor plan, which is cool, but again, not totally 70s, so we're gonna try to make the areas of the room stand alone with decorating. I'm so excited about your style. I mean, I know we've been texting and I've been saying like, I love your aesthetic, because it is so specific. I have this obsession with the 70s, mid-century modern, Palm Springs. I also love summer and warm colors. Oh my gosh, you guys, what a unique challenge this is. Like normally the design style that's in right now is like white walls and black and white minimalism or like, you know, kind of pastels, but Nikki likes literally the opposite of that with her brown and orange and blue accented, like super 70s, very retro, like to a T retro. Like she wants it to look like basically the Brady Bunch house. And Nate, where do you fall in yeah. the Yeah. <laughs> this is perfect for me because like she's pretty gender neutral, so it like kind of falls in my favor that it's not gonna be super girly or anything. I feel like you have like a, a slight retro. Yeah, I really dig the same style. Oh yeah. my god, your inner retro. We're gonna bring it out for both of you on the walls perfect. in the space. So you guys are gonna be heading to Vegas for the night, which is great, and we'll be here finishing up, but we wanted to start some projects with you like we do. You're going to Adeline's? Yeah, it's her 21st birthday. birthday. Oh my gosh, so you'll come back hungover and we'll reveal it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back all messed up and I'll have a nice apartment to lay there in. There you go, it'll be cozy to sleep off your face hangover. No. Are you guys so excited for what the first project's gonna be? What is it? We're gonna dye your hair. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
What color? That's why we've got paint <laughs> buckets here. It's like the new way of dyeing. You should be orange hair, thick. cool and warm tone. I don't think I'd be, <laughs> I'm, I would be cool with orange. On my channel, I'm really known for saying the phrase cool and warm tones. I always call it out. If I'm wearing it, if I see it, I'll vlog it. Cool and warm tones. Okay, so we're gonna start doing what we do with a lot of people. Let's paint. Let's paint. Oh my God. What color is in that can? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is paint the walls. The white walls are just not gonna work for the 70s vibe we're going for. White is currently very popular. A lot of people want their walls white, but for this 70s vibe, we gotta get some crazy colors going. Oh my God! Blue! <laughs> Nikki loves it! It's like a muted teal color. The whole thing about 70s vibes in particular is that it wasn't a lot of primary colors per se in decorating, it was a more off shades, so this paint color is perfect for that. That's gonna I be like so it. pretty. Yeah. yeah, you like it? I'm so happy. Oh, good. Oh, okay. good. Yes. Get ready. <laughs> I would pick that out. I would literally pick that out. Oh, good, good, good. I am like very messy. I'm not good at DIYs. I'm very disorganized. I am impatient. Everything you shouldn't be if you want to be a good DIYer, so I'm not the best but Nate is actually the complete opposite of me when it comes to that. I've got some crazy OCD, so I feel like once I start one wall, I gotta finish the whole thing. Wait, uh-oh. I'm gonna purposely mess with his OCD. He can finish the whole thing, <laughs> that's why. <fine. laughs> Yay! Okay, yeah, oh, you're, you're oh, really screwed okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to stop. So what Nikki doesn't know is that we're not painting this whole room this blue color. I have planned some removable wallpaper, which is so exciting because hello, so 70s, and also a way for us to really designate these areas of space. So you like the color, and Nate basically said that he's gonna finish the wall by himself. I believe it. Might have been joking. Just let him go. Come back in an hour. OCD is kicking in and we, he wants to finish it. Yeah, I heard that. So you know what, bro? You got this. I will gladly step away and let you finish painting. Okay, so why don't you take Nikki to do the art project. Oh, yeah. I can get set for the other project and they can nate two rolls. I can nate two rolls. Joey two roll remix. Nate two rolls. That was such a dumb dad thing to do. <laughs> do they still do that? Nate looks like such a tool using the two rolls. <gasps> DIY time! Are you excited? Yes, but do you want to know a fun fact? What? Do you know when like DIY was like huge in like 2015 and me and my twin yeah. used to always like make oh, DIY yeah, videos? Yeah, always, yeah. Dude, we suck at DIY. <laughs> That's why we stopped. I became known as a twin on YouTube, and I want to say these last two years, I've really become my own, and I've started to try to do my own thing a little bit, and now I have my channel, Nikki DeMar, where I post vlogs and regular videos. So obviously, you've seen our videos, you know I like to do like a custom piece of art, either photography or painting, and it's just a way to further personalize the space, get a nice big statement piece on the wall without spending too much money, and it's also just fun. Like, it just makes it so much more fun when you can actually interact with the things that you then end up seeing on your wall every day. So, this project is something I've never done before. <laughs> the biggest issue in this apartment with your aesthetic is that it's modern. Yeah. Right, so these walls are all flat. There isn't any architectural interest. So I didn't just want to put up like a flat canvas on the wall. Yeah. I wanted to make it more sculptural. So the whole thought behind this project is using geometry again in 60s, 70s retro design. You see a lot of shapes, you see cubes, you see triangles, you see then spheres, right? It was it was sort of the space age. It was the 60s, the first man on the moon. There were lots of kind of planetary elements that were infused into the design. So we have here, <laughs> would you like to explain for the viewers at home what it, what's happening here? It's a balloon yeah. and paper mache. There you go. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hand you this sharp knife. Am I popping balloon? Is it gonna scare you? I'm nervous. I, I hate loud, sporadic sounds that I'm not expecting. Even though I'm like expecting it, it's still unexpected. I don't like balloon popping, no. 
It's it's like a symbol clap, I think. I'm nervous. I'm gonna clutch my baby. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're making me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Oh, that was so dramatic. It was so, yeah, no, it was muffled by, was the, by the paper mache. Let's demo on one. So you would pull out the balloon, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to cut. Mm. It's peeling itself. It's just kind of like sucking itself in. It actually sounds really cool. It sounds like a, cr a crackly situation. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> we just let it do it. What? So anyways, we're gonna, we want these to be more of like half circles. So I'll let you do this. So these spheres have a rough edge, so we wanna cut that with a scissor. It's really easy. We're just gonna create more of a straight line to really get these into half circle shapes that we can then lay down on the canvas. And let them sort of overhang the ones on the edge because we're kind of making this canvas not look like a square anymore. After we get all of our spheres down on this canvas, we're then gonna come in with, you wanna do some more paint reveals? Yes. Okay, so now it's time for Niggy to open more cans of paint. We've got these three little cans for the DIY. Whoa. Whoa. So three different shades of our beautiful retro orange. Love. And kind of, you know, randomly paint different shapes differently, but let them kind of run together. I love the three shades of orange. Like one's like a smoky orange, another one's like a crimson. They're all muted, which is really cool because I hate in your face saturation. I love colors, but toned down a little. So why don't you just get to gluing these down? And like I said, don't worry if it sort of spills out over that because we're gonna paint everything. Okay, I'm not the neatest, I'm warning you. Well great, this is perfect for you then. So is it okay if there's like stringy glue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the strings, this is the messy. So I think like this piece looks cool too, right? Like a like a ribbony piece. I made some of these as well, like some bigger too to kind of fill in, just keep the texture going. I love that. Yeah, okay, cool, because that'll help. I have like another bigger one we can put like there. I think it's just gonna turn out super cool. It's a really unique design and I know it's gonna be a huge centerpiece. All right, so I feel like you're seeing enough of this and you've had a lot of say in placing the domes. I think I'm ready to send you over to Joey because I know you guys have to go to Vegas. All right, so this is looking amazing. I think Nikki has the vision. Obviously, I have lots to finish on this still, but thankfully she's gonna be out of the house in Vegas, far away, cannot peek. <laughs> so, yay. Go. Do some stuff with Joey. All right, I'm gonna continue. Right. Have fun with Joey. Don't lose a finger. Oh, oh no, what? <laughs> hey everyone, we wanna quickly tell you about today's sponsor, Ring. I'm obsessed with Ring, 100% true fan. It's true, at our house we use Ring for everything. In addition to keeping our house safe, we also know when packages are being delivered, answering the doorbell when we're ahem, indisposed. Thank you, you can just leave the package inside the front gate on the porch to asking Joey to do me some favors while he's outside and I am still on the couch. Hey Joey, while you're out there, can you water the potted plants? I forgot to do that earlier. Yeah. Thank you, love you. Ring has a whole suite of tools that effortlessly connects together in the Ring app to help you monitor your house. There's hardwired, battery powered, and even solar options. So pretty much you can install a Ring device anywhere you want. Since you're one of our subscribers, you have a special offer on a Ring starter kit available right now. The kit includes a video doorbell and motion activated spotlight cam, which is everything you need to start building a ring of security around your home. So go to ring.com slash Mr. Kate. That's ring.com slash Mr. Kate. Now let's get back to the episode. Oh my God. Hey. Wood. Wood. <laughs> How does your project go? It's going, you know, it's a work in progress. Are you ready to do stuff with wood? Heck yeah. All right, so one of the things we're trying to do in this room is bring in some of those 70s textures. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do a wood paneling project. Wood is not my territory. I've never played with wood, used wood, cut wood, nothing. So this is all new to me. So we wanted to do some sort of wood paneling-esque project, but because this is a rental and also just because we don't want it to be too overwhelming, 
we wanted to figure out a way to like incorporate that vibe, but slightly more subtly. So we're doing like wood paneling art. Okay. I pre-built some frames, just the classic way you always see us build frames on this with some one by two that I'm just mitering the edges, making 45 degree angles, connecting it all so it makes a square. And what we're gonna do is we are going to lay pine wall planks on top of it to create that wall plank vibe. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to trace the frame and the excess wood we'll use to fill in the rest of the frame. Just make sure your corner's kind of in the middle of this piece of wood. Yeah. We're gonna do a bunch of rows of this pine wood planking and Nikki's gonna trace around the frame so we know where our cuts are gonna go. And now it's time for Nikki to get into the power tools. Uh-oh, are you nervous? Yeah, I've never done anything like this. <laughs> I love wood, but I've never cut wood. So this is gonna be a first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it, you're gonna pull the, pull the trigger, you're gonna go down, and then you're gonna push forward till you go all the way through the wood. So now pull the trigger, hold it, and now go straight down, and then up. Oh! Right? It's not that hard, right? That was satisfying. Yeah. And it smells amazing. Yeah. All right, Nikki did such a great job with the chop saw. We have all of our pieces ready to go. Now we gotta get them onto the frame. The edges will, will, will clean up. Yeah. But it's pretty good, right? You see how you don't, you know, it's covering everything. So now that I'm seeing it all in front of me, I'm totally picturing it in the room, especially with the wall color and the canvas I was working on. It's all coming together and I'm so excited. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go along the edges and put in some finish nails. You gotta, you gotta blow the end of it. All right, I think Nikki has done enough on this project. She crushed it. She did amazing on the chop saw, amazing on the nail gun. Good job, Nikki. I know they gotta get to Vegas, so I'm just gonna finish this up for her. Once we have all these planks nailed on, we'll apply a dark stain. It's gonna be very cool. Because I know you guys get to Vegas. Let's check in with uh, Kate and see how Nate's doing on his paint job. <laughs> Nate, two roll, dude, you killed it. Oh my gosh, you're hired. Not bad, right? It's yeah. it's, a, it's a, a good trick, right? Yeah. Nate did great. The walls are perfectly covered in the pretty blue and he was still double whatever that's called. Nikki, how good does this color look? It's amazing. It's like a, a great mix of like calming meets beachy meets 70s. It's perfect. And then with the wood project that you did with Joey, an hour, Years. It's gonna be so good. It's right? gonna be so cool. How are you feeling about the color? I love it, it already feels like a new room. All right, it's time to kick these guys out. We have so much to do in here. They're gonna leave to Vegas. They're giving us the keys. Always a dangerous idea. Drive safely, say happy birthday to Adeline for me. All right, well we got a lot to do. Okay, you yeah, kids go. Get out of here. Enjoy these. Oh, wish Adeline happy birthday for me. For sure. Yeah, yeah try safely. Give me a hug. Thank you. Yeah, we're driving. Road yeah, road. So I love much. it. Get those away from me. <laughs> she already has teal hair. Bye, Nate. Thank we're you so back. much. Yeah. All right. All yeah, right. go. See Don't. you guys. All right. Take have care of yourself. Be careful. Okay, Joey and I have so much to do. We've got the removable wallpaper to get up. I have to finish that DIY project. We have to do all of the mounting. We have lots of shelves, a lot of crazy stuff. So much to do. Yeah, I'll finish this. Okay, and then okay. let's power. Okay. Now here's the problem with Nate two rolls. He was good, but did he have any pep in his step? Well, you look like a mad scientist over here. I am. Look, this start up. <gasps> oh, Joey. This is perfect. Yeah, so obviously we're gonna stain it still, this right? This is exactly what I was picturing and it's so lightweight, oh my gosh. Yeah. Obviously we have a wood stain plant for this project because this raw light wood is not in our color palette. We need to make sure it's like warm and retro looking, but that'll come later. So staining this and then this is going on that wall. Yes, so staining that our warm wood color. The goal for today is to get the wallpaper up. Wallpaper up, 
And we're doing the, we're doing the, the trim pieces on these edges and then maybe one over there. Yeah, just anywhere to, to cut off our wallpaper. And then yeah. furniture in. All right. Okay. I got a stain. Keep keep making purple or I'm going to stay in my on my planet. You stay on yours. All right, so we have two really great removable wallpapers. Okay, so this wallpaper that we're putting up around the dining room area, it's so gorgeous, you guys. Okay. This removable wallpaper has like this super retro looking print on it, like a mix of orange, a little bit of like almost like a mustard, and then like the geometric shapes, right? Because we're really playing with geometry in this design. Now over on this wall opposite to the sofa, we are doing a faux stone wallpaper, and I'm so obsessed with this. Like, when do you get to use phone so Phone stove? <laughs> when do you get to use faux stone wallpaper? Like, not that often, but when you're trying to create the 1970s in 2019, you can use faux stone wallpaper. All right, so the plan is we are gonna finish the day by getting all this wallpaper up, and then tomorrow when we come back, we will bring in all the furniture, hang all the items, get the artwork on the walls, finishing touches, and then we'll reveal. <laughs> All right guys, we are back at Nikki and Nate's place. The room is coming together. This is very exciting. Over the weekend, Joey and I hit up our favorite flea market because I knew I wanted to bring in some vintage items into this room, so check it out. This orange lamp is so 70s. All right, we should get it before we go. Joey, I don't think it's gonna sell out. It might sell out. Joey, thank you. We can put it like on a shelf or even on like our coffee table or dining table. There's options. Look at this ashtray. That's Amber crazy. colors, right? A mustard yellow foam. Which one do you like? Oh, a slightly darker one. Look at our flea market haul. More Plus stuff. the phone, the ashtray. Okay, so. Done. Done. So Nikki and Nate have this sliding glass door that goes out to their balcony of their apartment. It already has this roll down shade, but we needed to bring in a curtain moment. In our quest to break up these flat walls, we're gonna put up some wall sconces. These are just some plug-in sconces that we'll put on both sides of where the couch is gonna be. And then inside that area, we're gonna hang both of our awesome wood projects. The stain on the wood looks awesome. It brings out all of the cool knots and naturalness of that pine wood. And it's just gonna go on the wall like that. So on the stone wall, we're trying to make this one of those 70s built-in media unit things. We got these floating shelves that were turning into sort of three tiers of shelving. We're mounting the TV on the wall, just making sure we find our studs, getting the mount on the wall, TV goes up. Joey, you yeah. hung these shelves perfectly. This is exactly what I was picturing. It's super cool. It's so 60s with the lines, like the horizontal lines, and then over the stone wall. Yeah, have I, you tried this yet to see if it works? I haven't, but I'm really hoping. Do we plug it in? Oh, we plugged it in. Under the TV, we're placing a really cool retro looking wood media unit that has a built-in digital fireplace. Okay. <gasps> ah! <gasps> so cool, and like, it has the heater too. It is the coolest thing. Okay, I found this online. I was like, we need to have this. It has a fireplace in it that you plug in. Not only does it have a fireplace that works with a switch, but it has a heater that you can turn on. Okay, so from the flea market, we have our phone. Love it. But I feel like maybe that could go over by the sofa. Yeah. And then I went to the thrift store, yep. found these like super retro old coasters. school retro coasters with the cork and the wood. Yeah, I love those. Oh, I don't know, you know, wasn't Batgammon big in the 70s? <laughs> I don't know, but it looks very 70s. <laughs> right, it's so cool. So cool. And then from the thrift store I found this. Oh. Could not resist. Do we put any cassettes in there for her? <laughs> I don't have any cassettes, but I was thinking she could put something else in there. I don't know, hard drives or memory cards. Something, yeah. I got a couple old records, like just for the shelves for cuteness. And then of course we have our tray. Yep. That's self-proclaiming itself from the flea market. Okay, you do And I have stuff. a bunch of other stuff too, okay. but like 
thrift store stuff. I love, love it. Good okay. finds. Shelves. Perfect placement. I know, these turned out really cool. I'm obsessed with these, yes. Good, good like, project. Good project, great work. All Nikki right. will be proud when she sees them up. So, rug. Rug. So we are reusing in here. Nikki and Nate already had this amazing shag rug that has like a little bit of a diamond pattern on it. Hello, shag rug, nothing more 70s than that. So I was like, let's not spend money on a new rug, let's reuse this one. Do we rug cuddle on her rug that she already had? <laughs> We're sort of doing like a reuse rug cuddle. In our 70s sitcom. Okay, here, our 70s sitcom. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. That's great. We'll work on that. Okay. Couch. Oh, wait, you can't help me with the couch. Oh, wait. Marco, you want to help Joey with the couch? Yeah, sure. Marco! Marco! Are you gonna roll the camera? Yes. Thank you. You got it? Oh, now the camera's too short. <laughs> Shut up, Joey, I caught this. So we're a little bit more than halfway in Mr. Baby. So I'm gonna have to call in someone else to help me with this couch. Marco, our camera guy, fits the bill. Lift, lift with your legs. I am, I have it. <laughs> no, no, whoa, whoa, good job, good job. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. We need someone else, Ben! So Ben is the AC assistant camera. He's the one who like wrangles all the gear and cleans the camera and all of that. So now he's helping. So thanks guys. What do you need me? Where do you want? <laughs> center, yeah. center. Big one, two. Hey, it's coming tomorrow, wait, wait, no, no. Oh my gosh. Yeah. When Kate is pregnant, the crew steps in and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Yay, couch is in, it looks so good. I'm so excited for her to see this and I love that it is a symmetrical L. So rather than having one side that's shorter, both sides are the same exact length which is very 70s looking. In front of the couch, we're gonna place another natural wood tone piece, a really cool round coffee table. This side table was Nikki's already, we're repurposing that. So there's just a lot of options for people to get cozy in this room and also tabletops allow for some styling moments. <laughs> Good. Perfect. This artwork that we did turned out so cool. I'm sure plenty of you at home were like, what are they doing? What is that? That's so weird. Yes, it is weird, but what am I creative weirdo? What is this room? Pretty creatively weird and bizarre. All right guys, 70s rug cuddle time. This is like not our, our normal rug and this is so cool. No, this is not our normal design at all. I'm so excited for this rug cuddle. I'm wearing my corduroy overalls. I have my 70s scarf on and this rug is plaid. This is our moment. This is either Nikki and Nate's room, or it's a television set for a 70s sitcom. Not sure which one. Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Watch I'll the lift, rug, you get the bro. Rug. But this is just as hard. We're bringing in their existing dining table that they already had because it's gigantic and amazing and fits really well. It's not that retro, it's kind of more rustic, but it works really well. The tone of wood works really well in combination with our other tones of wood we have going on and it's budget saving. And we have those new retro teal chairs, bringing the teal from over there Great. on the wall Great. here. Great, get them. Start the montage! <laughs>
guys, like how incredibly different does this room look? We are in that 70s pad. Nikki and Nate, I think you're gonna be blown away. I can't wait to see the reaction. Eyes closed, don't open them, <laughs> don't closed, open them. Eyes closed, we're gonna don't put you into position. Oh my God, this is like the bird box challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Vegas was so much fun, but I think we were even more excited to see our place that we live in every day. So we're just ready to open our eyes and see what it looks like. Yeah. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. Me either. Okay. Okay, so, so. picture what it looked like before. Obviously, we love your love of retro 70s teal and orange. Yes. You're still into that, right? No, we changed no. your mind. Vegas, <laughs> Vegas didn't change you? No. <laughs> On the count of three, you're gonna open your eyes and I hope you like it. Oh my God. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow. This uh, doesn't even look like our apartment. <laughs> what? I don't, I wasn't expecting this much. <laughs> I told you, she literally transformed rooms. It, like, they don't even look the same. Wow. What? Oh my God. Nate, what? This is our apartment. Oh my God. What, no. It doesn't even look like the same place. It's, it's completely different This is room. incredible. What, what, what? All oh paper God. from the 70s. This is not the same. Right? This it's is so not the crazy. Same. Come come in. And look. look at you matching my apartment. I know, you know, I love it. The when theme. you came out to get us, I was like, I'm seeing a theme here. <laughs> you have a you have a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Nate is like like puzzled. I'm speechless. <laughs> oh a good speechless? Yeah, a good speechless. Okay, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> this this feels so much bigger. Loves it. I like oh, how you utilize yeah. like some of the stuff we already had too. Yeah, it's yeah no, we repurposed a lot of it's your things. It's taking a lot to take in because like there's so <laughs> much going on. <laughs> I've always wanted this and I've never done anything. You're gonna live out here now. I am, I'm not <laughs> gonna fly home anymore. Oh good. Well I figured this is like so perfect for your videos because it's like so your aesthetic. Like you can literally, like look at this you have so area many here just it like was, shooting here. It was here. so tough to film in. Now we can film from like an yeah, angle. Yeah, like there. you don't want to avoid an angle now. I just want to have so many people over now. You have six chairs to host people. <laughs> On Thanksgiving we had like poofs set around We didn't have chairs. Yeah, because we didn't have time. chairs before. No. Your very off the wall piece of art our turned out really cool. Our space artwork, how cool with yeah, our bubbles great. floating up, right? And then, oh. your, and then your beautiful wall paneling projects. Oh my God, we did good. <laughs> we did good. Wait, look at this, like, like I like the wood in between the transition between the paint and the wallpaper. Uh -huh. Yeah, is, that was our way of breaking it up because I wanted this to feel like a separate area from this and we just kind of decided where to put it. There's like four different rooms in this room. We have chairs now, we have nice new wallpaper, we have storage space. We have color, we have, inviting pieces and warm lighting and comfy couch and and rugs different rugs different patterns i am thriving right now i'm shook this is my favorite is this corner they love it they, gosh nikki is blown away i think nate's blown away too he's obviously a little bit more reserved than nikki but man does she look good in this room with that teal hair so the big challenge in this room was obviously white walls, no architecture, nothing, just recessed lights. So we gave you the two wall sconces. You got your two new hanging lights over there. These lamps all around. Lamps all around. And this was our kind of cheat way of making it make sense. So we obviously we wanted the TV more over on this side so that it could be convenient for the couch. But then having the asymmetrical shelving like that is like super 60s vibes, you know, like very retro. I feel like Netflix is gonna be hitting us up to film an original. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, call her if you have any movies, any 70s shows you wanna film here. No, but I just like love this wall so much. I think my fans are gonna be shook. <laughs> Yay, are you guys shook? Comment below It's like you're shook. This is I, wow, I can't take this in, like, the, what? I could have never put this together. I don't know how Mr. Kate does it. Like, 
you know, these are all like me and furniture and wall colors, but I couldn't put it all together and make it go good together. Like, I don't know how she does that's it. That's amazing. How did she do that? She literally transformed the room. Like, that's not our old room. That is not our old room. I just feel so inspired now. Like, I just, sky's the limit. I just want to, like, create and create now because it's like your environment really affects your mood. Absolutely. And my life, my, my career is based off my life. So yeah. if my, like, space it inspires me and puts me in a good mood, then my content's only going to get better. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I think, like, Interior design is deeper than just superficial. Like it really does feed your soul, it feeds your creativity. I'm just gonna spend every t like every time we can out here on this couch. Okay. I love it. Well that's a perfect visual to leave on. We'll yeah. let you guys get into nap. It's been position. a long 24 hours. I'm sure you guys are tired from Vegas. We're tired from doing all this. <laughs> we were excited to get back. I'm okay. gonna take this mom Hi. out of here. Oh, Thank you guys so much. You. Thanks for having this us. Awesome. Great to so hang out and meet you guys. Hi. Hi. Oh. I can't, I don't have words. <laughs> Nate, get Thank you in so here. much. Thank you. Nikki and Nate, you guys were so much fun. Thank you so much for having us into your home. <sighs> I'm so glad she likes it. This was a really fun room. Thank you, Nikki, for being a total weirdo, because I just love it. Enjoy. So All right, we All right, need it. Enjoy. Here, throw a blanket. Get into Perfect. nap position. Yeah, I'm ready to relax. Come <laughs> here. Let's do this. <laughs> I, you're literally the Liam to my Miley. I'm weird and you just support it. <laughs>you respond in the way that she did and Nate too is like whoa what did you think yeah comment below by the way this is probably episode like I don't even know probably 30 something of OMG we're coming over no is that, have we done that many I don't think that many 20 something? <laughs> but if you need to catch up catch up go yes. ahead binge them huge thanks to ring for sponsoring today's episode check out ring.com for all your devices also if you guys are subscribed but want to take it to the next level or if you're not subscribed but just want to jump all the way in hit the join button yeah join and you our can membership become a member. we would love to have you there too because we do vlogs over there exclusive discount codes live chats we got a bunch of stuff over there so all kinds of stuff yeah so we'll see you guys on the next one yes. thanks for watching thanks for watching stay creative stay weird stay you we love you so much bye, bye. so our vlogs are basically just gonna be the like our videos are like expectation and our vlogs are reality <laughs> <laughs> okay i just parked at the goodwill you guys have seen me shop at the goodwill many many times i love me a thrift store oh my god what are these